Welcome to another Florida Public Shooting Range Overview. This time we're taking a look at the Triple N Ranch Shooting Range, which is not located in a national forest, but a Florida Wildlife Management Area, which of course this area is called the Triple N Ranch Wildlife Management Area. So enough talking head, let's get right into it. Triple N Ranch Shooting Range is about an hour and 15 minute drive from Orlando. If you live north of Orlando, like in Longwood or Apaca, then I would suggest going to the shooting range in the Ocala National Forest. But the caveat is, is to keep an eye on your stuff in Ocala due to no supervision, unlike the Triple N Ranch shooting range. Showing you the main road and the street sign that you need to keep an eye on to be able to turn into the range. And of course, the sign. As I show you here, these are the range hours and the days that they'll be closed. After you make the turn on Donovan Cruz Road, you're gonna have to drive about three and a half miles to be able to get to the actual shooting range. And who says Florida doesn't have views on views? Triple N Ranch is one of eight shooting ranges that is staffed with Range Safety Officers, or RSO for short. Before you even have a chance to pay for the range fees, you'll need to watch a 15 minute safety video beforehand. Once you've watched the video, you'll get a small tag from the Florida Wildlife Commission that indicates you've seen the safety brief. The tag is lifetime, so you don't need to sit through the safety brief every time you visit a shooting range managed by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. And unlike Ocala, this building has working plumbing. After you sign your name and the time of your arrival in the check-in book, you'll go inside the small convenience store where you'll pay for your range fee and other items that you may need. This includes ammo, clay targets, shooting bags, snacks, drinks, and souvenirs themed to the range. The range fee at the time of recording is $12 per person over 15 years old. This is for the rifle and handgun ranges and the archery range if that's your hobby. As you see right here, I'm walking up to one of the many clay target shooting areas if you decided to pay for skeet shooting instead of one of the regular range fees. Shotgun skeet range, the range fee for that at the time of recording is $38 for 100 targets. It's an additional 38 cents for each clay target if you so choose to shoot more than the allotted amount. And of course, I'm showing you the stands that you can shoot from as well. This is the main 100 yard rifle range where, of course, you'll be doing your main shooting from with your rifle and they have a lot of lanes. And I'm showing you the 200 yard uh, rifle range, but before you even have a chance to shoot at that one, you'll first need to qualify at the 100 yard uh, rifle range. As you see here, the 50 yard pistol range is closed on the weekends. Don't know why, but it is what it is. If you want to be like Jack Reacher and know every minute detail, you can visit the official Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission website, look for the public ranges section, and they'll have the information that you need. A link to their website will be in the description down below. Overall, my experience at this range was about on par Maybe a little more once I stopped listening to my monkey brain and listened to the RSOs there that day. At least with a place like this, you'll have enough time to shoot and reset your targets. And unlike Ocala, a range like this is perfect to take a first time shooter here to show them the ropes. The RSOs are more than willing to teach you the fundamentals if you so happen to ask. My one takeaway from a range like this is the restrictive one round for every two seconds but this can be listed as a win for new shooters. Otherwise, a decent day here at this range is better than a great work day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like the Ocala public shooting range, I hope this gives you a broader understanding and an actual overview of the range that you're about to visit. Trying to find videos on any of these public ranges here in the state of Florida is, to put it bluntly, it's just kind of not there. So I hope you enjoyed this video, hopefully, 
fill in this gap that we have here. So, from the sunny, human-filled state of Florida, I have been the man in the molly vest. It's time to gear up for the next video, or the next public shooting range overview, whenever that may be. And I'll see y'all, and my fellow degenerates, on the front lines.